How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at something very simple. We're going to be looking at using the Action Bar API. Now this API is super simple but I've actually had a few people message me saying that they would like to see a tutorial on this or that they've had uh, issues with it. So I'm actually really excited to do this tour because this is a very useful uh, asset which you can use on your servers. And once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. And lastly, make sure not to skip around in the video or you could miss a line of code which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. So we are gonna head over here to our events class plugin. Now, first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to help go ahead and download this. It says it only works up to 1.1 uh, 1, uh, or 1.10. Uh, we're going to see if it works on 1.11 here. I'm not entirely sure if it will, um, but we're going to go ahead and risk it for the biscuit here. It did launch, so uh, I am hopeful. Uh, and we're just going to do something on a simple, um, what do we want to call it on? Um, a block break event. Yeah. Event handler public void block break block break event event okay we'll go ahead and import all that all right so it's it has it right here on its website of how exactly uh, you can call the API you just do action bar API or action bar API dot and then send uh, action bar um, but if for some reason you didn't know that, what you could simply do for most APIs as well is you could simply just type it in or what the, the plugin name is and you can see here that it's going to show up with a bunch of things. And now you can see here, um, most times all, the, all your void stuff here or any sort of send or receive or get or set, um, those are going to be things you're going to be using that are usable by you or that are easily usable. Um, so we are going to just simply do this send action bar to the player, right? So we're going to say on block break event, the player is going to be event dot get player. Uh, you should make a public, you should make a variable for it. So we're just going to go ahead and do that player player equals event dot get player. Now this is just good practice. Um, you always want to make sure you're keeping your code clean that you have values set for everything so that way you don't have to continuously call all these really long. Uh, that was a short one but sometimes they can get very very long like if you're looking for a player's inventory and then main hand and then get the item meta you know it can get very very hard. Um, and we are just going to go ahead and have a, a public uh, we'll call it, we'll actually make a private. We'll make a private int and it is going to be called blocks broke and we are going to go ahead and say uh, if block broke equal equals zero we are going to go ahead and run this uh, or sorry if if it equals zero we're going to go ahead and do Bloke block blo broke block broke equal to one. Or sorry, equal to one, not equal equal to one. Equals to one. And then we are going to go ahead and say else. We are just going to go ahead and say check color dot red. No, oh, not red. That's it's a sign of uh, badness. Dark. Always associate red with bad. And you have broke space uh, and then we'll go ahead and do check color dot aqua plus block broke plus check color dot dark aqua space blocks oh but you need quotation marks there blocks and you can see here that this is extremely long um, so let's go ahead and test this. So right now what's going to happen is we have this private int here called blocks broke. Or well, block broke. I meant to make it block, so we'll just go ahead and fix that real quick. Blocks broke. And we actually want to go ahead and do blocks broke plus 
one there. That's what this is going to be. So what we're doing is we're checking to see if it equals zero. If it equals zero, we are going to go ahead and set it to one. Or no, that's not what we want to do because we're adding one here. Oh no 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 no. This will work. This will work. We'll just go ahead and add one, and then we also will have to send this message here, but we will not add one here. Okay. There we go. So we're checking to see if it's zero. If it's zero, we're setting it to one, and then we are sending a message saying you have broke um, a block. Well, one block. Well, blocks. So I guess we should. You have broke one block, and then it will go to blocks. And then else, if it's not equal to zero, it's just going to get the amount of blocks broke, and it's just going to add one. So in theory, this should work first try. Uh, let's go ahead and reload here. So, oh, my chat's in the way. Let me just pull this bigger here. And this is a little messed up here. Um, we didn't add the space there, but that's okay. We can go ahead and fix that really easily there. So reload, it might. So we have broken one block, two blocks, and again, spacing's messed up here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's reset. And now you can see that it's it changes every time I reload the server. Ooh, but now we're running into an issue here. It's only, it's not changing. Interesting. So what we have to do here is we will change this and we will just make this blocks broke plus plus. That should work, I believe. Or it might, it might do the exact same thing. So let's just let's just double check here. There we go. So now you can see that. Oh, I want this actually back in here because this is my center point. Now you can see that it is con continuously counting how many blocks we break, and it might be easier to just go down here and do this. Ooh. So you can see there that we have a continuous count of all of our blocks that are we are breaking. <coughs> Excuse me. And now what we can do is we can do something like we can do another if statement here we can say if uh, blocks broke equal to 10 we can go ahead and action bar api dot send message to all players right we can send it to all players and we can say uh, check color dot uh, green uh, player plus oops keep pressing enter has broken 10 blocks now obviously that's not really this a grand a grand achievement here so we want player to get name there we go uh, and I want this to be gold and then we will plus chat color dot green and as you can see I imported the wrong chat color once more always make sure to import bucket there we go so now once we break equal to 10 it's going to send a action bar message to every player on the server now uh, saying that I have broken 10 blocks um, so let's just get to 10 oh oh it's quick there because once we once we reset it it uh or once we break up another block there, it's uh, it's going to just re go ahead and put the new message over top of it. So you can see here, Malik the Music has broken 10 blocks. So you can do really cool announcements like this, um, but I can foresee another issue that we're having here. And you can see that it goes one, one. So what we need to do is we need to fix this. So we just need to go. Okay, so I figured out what was sort of happening is um, it was only, it wasn't setting it to one for some reason. Um, so we actually had to do a double plus plus right here and that went ahead and fixed that issue. We haven't seen you have broke one block, you broke two blocks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as you can see there, we have our message. And that is all I got for you guys today in this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. I will also try to remember to put a link to action bar API down in the description. If not, I am terribly sorry and you guys can be mad at me for the rest of my uh, eternal living life. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. We only got one more episode left in this first season of coding tutorials and I'm really excited to move on to some new and bigger stuff. 
Thanks for watching.